interpersonal communication class. Welcome back. Man, man, am I excited to be here with you today. Yay. And, 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 oh man, the rest of the semester. <laughs> That'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be a, it'll be a, it'll be a ride. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Chapter three. Now, now remember what the end game is. The end game in chapter three. Okay, how to talk to and communicate with and coexist with and get along with and work with and go to school with people even if they don't share our same truth. So to do that, we got to pry open this can and we got to look into it and we got to figure out where our own truth comes from. Why? Why uh, uh, on earth would anyone not have my exact same truth? And those, all of those things going to get explored in chapter three, as as is the the shadowy illusions, the shadowy illusions of things that we call truth. Okay, ooh, ooh, hold on for that ride. That comes uh, that comes later in my lecture series when I bastardize Plato's allegory of the cave. True story, the Joswakian version of Plato's allegory of the cave coming soon to theaters near you. But right now we're stuck. Stuck. How's that? Now, when we're, to we're talking about articulation in, in our in-class time, uh, but, but there's that. We're stuck on the star model for now, which, by the by, could be the cure for dogma if you just let it. And dogma uh, is, is one of the ways we come to our, our truth. It's, it's truth that's given to us, handed to us. You know, lovingly or shoved at us, okay? And therefore, we did not devise it on our own. Therefore, when we try to defend it, we go like this. We go, well, it's just what I believe. Or it's blind faith, Joe Zwack. Or, or, or we say, uh, that's, that's, that's my grandpa talking, if we want to really truly admit it. All right, all right, so here's this deal now. The other way we come to truth is we take it into our senses, we decipher it or decode it, and then we make a meaning or a truth. Okay, there. A recap, recap of last week. The star model. Oh, ho, 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 man. You want to cure dogma? You look at the star model. And I'm going to go around it really super quickly for you. Please, please play attention. All right. Up at the very tippy top of the star model is what you know, tiny little bit about any subject or any subject matter. The bigger question mark, the bigger question mark, which is almost quasi-infinite. The stuff you don't even know that you don't even know. The stuff yet to learn <sighs> about your politics, your religions, ab about everything and every aspect of philosophy and life. The stuff you don't even know that you don't even know. Ginormous. <sighs> Okay, now, now, let's pretend you want to know more. We go on this, and why? So you can defend yourself out in the commons. So you can have discussion. So you can grow your brain without, like, this. Good idea. All right, so here's the deal. Once I know that I don't even know that I don't even know maybe some stuff about something, then I go on this great exploration with an open mind. Okay? I cannot underscore that enough, okay? With an open mind, I go on a great exploration. I look into it with my senses. I listen to people. I listen to things. I listen to podcasts. I listen to debates. I listen, 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 and I look into it with my other senses, like, for instance, but not limited to my eyes. I read, and I read, and I watch, and I watch, and I read some more. Like, for instance, I might have to read about the 98 planks in the Republican Party platform or the 101 planks in the Democratic Party platform. I might, okay, if I truly want to do the next piece of this puzzle. After I go on a great open-minded explore, I create my own truth. I create my own truth for myself, by myself, after hard work in the explore. You know, when I'm exploring, I have to avoid those biases, though, or I'm not going to ever change. I'm not going to ever grow. I'm going to be, like, stagnant my way or the highway. 
All right. So I now create my own truth. And in my example about what it means to be a Republican and what it means to be a Democrat, I have created those truths. Then, and this is where, this is where I just have to slow down a little bit. Then I have to look way inside and I have to go on the most important explore of all. Who am I? Who am I way in that heart of hearts of mine, that inner core? Who am I? And don't you dare let other people tell you who you are. Don't you dare let them devise and, and, and define you. Don't. Okay? Look inside. Self-create. Free yourself. Emancipation from those labels that people are sticking on you. Wow, way more about that in Chapter 6. Hi. Hi. All right. Once you do that self-examination, you can then judge that new truth to either align with your inner core or not. You judge that new truth. You judge it against your heart of hearts. And you say, yep, that, that, that's for me. Or, ooh, ooh, no, there's so much wrong with that. It's not who I am. And I don't care, honestly, quite frankly, like I've said a, a million times, hyperbole. Like I said, <clears throat> I don't care. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat. It doesn't matter if you're Republican. It matters. Why? Why? Have you done the hard work? And do you know how it aligns with who you truly are? Or are you just taking it like I took stuff from my grandpa? Danger. All right. All right. Now, once you've made that judgment, then and only then can you go, in this case, in this case, can you go into the voting booth and act without the puppet strings of dogma. Act on your own, by yourself, for yourself, on a self-created truth that you have judged to align with your core. Man, does that feel... Where, where, where is it? There it is. Does it feel good to bubble it in? There we go. Stop looking at it. There, there we go. Does that feel good? Okay. Otherwise, otherwise you're acting like a puppet. All right, there. And all the way around. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Through six parts of the star model. Uh, Joe's wife. What's that thing in the middle? Good. Great question. Just saved yourself a bunch of test points there, Sparky. That thing in the middle. Number seven of the star model. Number seven of the star model. Again, once again, I borrowed that symbol from a. Phenomenal Native American tribe, man, I, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying. The wisdom, you know, the, the wonderful cultures that are out there. All right, do some exploration. Come to your own truth. And remember, and remember, if you're not from one of the first, uh, the first peoples, then, then we all came from immigrants. Oh, okay, all right, all right, then. <laughs> there's, a, there's a new truth. Hi. Hi. Okay. Number seven. Look at the spiral. With the slash marks. Let's just drop it in. Get a visual of that number seven. All right. Take a look. See those slash marks? Here's, here's, here's what the, the clinket and the, uh, the, the Hopi and uh, the Anishinaabe. Here, here's, what, here's what peoples have thought. And I'm just going to tell you this. I agree. You're going along through life. You're, you're, that arrowhead at the end of the spiral, super important because they thought that life went on after death. And it indicates this never-ending cycle. But during our time that we dance on this planet, during our time that we dance on this earth, there are some big moments that change our truth instantly and overnight. Look at the slash marks. Look at, I'm going around the spiral. 
and all of a sudden there's this slash mark, that's an indication that some big moments in life just happen. Ow. Big moments in life just happen, and we are never the same. Our truth changes instantly. Okay? Think about it. You're hanging out. You know, you're, you're four years old and you're hanging out. Your mom comes in, your dad comes in, says, Oh, we've got some great news. You're going to have a little baby brother. What? Yeah, you're going to have to share your toys and your bedroom. What? Okay. All right. There are so many t times. There are so many moments like this. F flat hat diploma graduation. Yeah. Yeah. Big moments where our truth is changed, okay? That, that family meeting, that big family meeting, okay? Let's pretend, let's pretend it's about, uh, you know, uh, uh, mom or dad, and, and you know what? Um, lo we, we, I, I lost my job. That's a moment. That's a moment. <clears throat> let's pretend it's kids, you know, uh, for our own sake, we can no longer live together. We need a divorce. Let's pretend. Those are big slash mark moments. Trust me, the loss of a loved one. And, and I've experienced this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, um, my truth got turned upside down overnight, overnight, in a, in, a, in a heartbeat, or lack thereof. All right, campers and camperettes, listen. Um, uh, you, <laughs> uh, most of the time you go through this hard work cycle of that star model, which sometimes takes years. Okay, it doesn't happen overnight, but sometimes a big moment in life will change your truth instantly and inevitably, uh, maybe for the rest of your life. All right, there, there, done, finite, uh, 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 complete, the star model, the star model. All right, all right, uh, man, I hope you're listening. I hope you're taking notes. I hope you're thinking. I hope you're thinking through some of this stuff with an open mind, with an open mind. There, I, I acted mad enough. Now I just smile again. See ya.